Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Show 20 once again from learnhypermission.com. Today in this video, we'll talk about how you can capture messages in Playwright and how you can verify the same. So we are going to talk about three different ways to capture messages. So we'll see three different approaches and we'll see multiple type of assertions, how you can use Playwright assertions, how you can use test range assertions. Because the moment you talk about automation, you need to verify. For example, let's, let's talk about, let's say if I don't enter any details, I want to capture this message or maybe the moment I enter some username but password is not matching so these kind of messages now let's say if I want to log in and you will see some messages here right let's say I need to capture these okay it's not visible wait yeah now let's say if I refresh I need to capture this welcome message or maybe I need to capture the text text, these text text. Or maybe let's say I do sign out again, I have to verify certain text. So how to capture this text, how to verify, let's see one by one in this video. So for this, I'm going to create a new Java class and I will say verify text messages. I'm going to use public static void main. If you're using JUnit or testng, please continue with at the rate test annotation. Fine, so in order to start, I will use Again, quickly playwright dot create dot I need chromium and I will say launch. Now by default playwright will be running in headless mode. So I will go ahead and remove this. So I will say new browser type dot launch options set headless to false. It means I want to run in a headed mode. We will get the reference of browser so I will store in a browser reference variable then I will start with browser dot new page once we get the page instance we are good to go I will import this page now let's navigate to this URL see guys the example which I'm taking is this for this application but the concept will remain same the method will remain same the approaches will remain same so page dot navigate we are going to navigate to this page now in order to get this messages see right now the scenarios which I'm talking about this the negative scenarios right I need to make sure all the messages are coming properly happy scenarios you do successful login you do log out but as part of your testing, let's say you need to verify each and every message, then you have to try the different combination. In this combination, what I will do, I will not enter anything and I will click on sign in. So this is the submit button type text. I can go with class directly. So the moment I say page dot locator, since I captured the class, I will use dot and I will say dot click. The moment I say click, I will be getting error messages, right? So this is the message which I want to verify. Email and password is required. So I want to capture this. This is my expected text. So I will be storing this first of all. See right now I don't have a uh, manual test cases. So right now I just copy pasting from the application itself, but expected will be coming from your test cases. Actual we are going to capture. So now if I want to capture this, first of all, I need to locate this, right? Now the moment I locate it, you can see it has a class called error messages. So this is h2 tag and the class is error message. So I will copy this class name. Now how do we check? So first of all, you need to locate. So I will say locator. Since I used class, I will use dot. Now I will use one method called text content. So it will return me the text as a string. So let me first print this message and see whether we are getting proper message or not. So I will just print. After this, I will close the page. Not close, it should be close. And then I will say browser dot close. Now, now let's first execute this. If you are able to capture the message, then we'll put the verification. So this is our first approach where I have used a method called test content and I'm able to capture this so if you want to append something let's say error message is 
and it's running little fast so I can use slow motion and I will use maybe 500 milliseconds execute this it's going to start we got the message and yes it is able to capture I will show you the validation part first let me show you the different ways to capture error messages so the first approach is you can directly use text content now the second one is you can use something called so let me give message new let me print message new you can also use a method called inner text the moment you say inner text it is going to capture the inner text and will return again a string that we are printing and I will say this is using inner message via inner text let's execute yes so this is using first approach where I use text content I can also use a method called inner text and we got exactly same message this is second approach now third approach is using JavaScript executor so when I say JavaScript executor what I mean if you go to console I can write here JavaScript so every browser have a JavaScript engine right so now I can use JavaScript to capture this text so again if I go ahead as we have seen we have the class right so I can write here document dot query selector or I can use get by class name so the moment you say it's get elements by class name basically get elements will return you array so if I just give this class name you can see we got length one means we got first element now since it is returning uh, array I'm saying give me the first element and you can see it's highlighting right now if I use something called text content we got the same message from the room right I used text content so what if I use this JavaScript completely now how do we use this see playwright directly provides something called page that dot evaluate here I can pass the expression so the expression that we have written already I will simply copy paste and I'm expecting a string message now here is a small catch I will say message via JS so this evaluate always returns you object when I say evaluate this I may evaluate in certain expressions which is JavaScript it is always returning me object but I need text as a string right so what I can do I can actually typecast and I will say I need as a string and now I got string message let me print this and I will say error message via JavaScript see guys in real time you need at least one okay I'm just giving you three different ways by any chance the first one is not working go with the second one second one is not working go with the third one in real time you will use only one then you will verify with the expected one and we are good to go so right now I'm just showing you how to capture this so this is done and we got approach one approach two and approach three now once you capture these error messages you know, now you need to verify now for verification again either you can use uh, JUnit assertion test ng assertions or you can use playwright assertions I will show you both so for this I will comment the remaining one because eventually I just need string ones but this you keep as a reference so that in case you need you can just refer this now this is my actual message and this is my expected message right now if I talk about test ng I can use assert class now in my project I already have test ng so if I show you my project I already have test ng added as a dependency so if you don't have please add otherwise test ng assertions will not work 
so i'm assuming you already have test ng so you can assert assert equals now it says give me actual give me expected so this is actual and this is expected sorry if both will match it will pass otherwise it will fail so let's go ahead execute Since validation is successful, it is not throwing any error message. Now let's say I'm expecting it should be email and password is required. Please try again. This is my expected. Now I'm saying assert equals actual versus expected. So this time, obviously it will fail. So let's see. it's loading and here we go it failed as usual let's say assertion error expected was this email and password is required please try again but found email and password is required so that's a default functionality of test ng so no need to worry this is full comparison when i say full comparison exact match we are looking for but let's say you want to verify the partial messages in that case you can go with assert dot assert true now assert true says give me condition is true if the condition is true it will pass otherwise it will, it will always fail so this is my actual message right i will say if actual message that we are capturing contains password is required so this time i'm not expecting full message i'm expecting only password is required if this contains this will return me true and if assert true will get true it will pass so let me execute again this is a valid scenario so it will pass but let's say if i change this email is required actual message contains this obviously it will return me false if this returns false this will fail let's execute this and yeah same thing assertion error expected was true but found false this is test ng assertion now i will show you the same thing with playwright assertion so it's totally up to you whether you want to go with playwright assertions or uh, test ng assertions i would recommend playwright assertion which i'm going to show you now okay because playwright assertions will wait here it will not wait it will just uh, try to capture if it is present it will capture and continue but playwright assertions are basically it will wait for that particular locator and the conditions also and the by default it will wait for five seconds if you want to increase or decrease you can do that now this class will be later lengthy so what i will do i will create a new class so that you will have two separate references so i will copy paste and let me change this to verify text messages with playwright assertions yeah let me remove everything i need page dot close page browser dot close now this part i will keep as it is this playwright dot locator we need so what i will do i will say playwright assertions dot assert that you can see the second method right locator so what i will do i will say page dot locator it means assert that this particular element you can see we have a method called contains text i can give exact match for example i'm looking for this right now i don't need this i can remove it i don't need this as well because right now what we are doing we're not capturing we're on the go we are saying this message should uh, sorry this element should have a text contains text is this this is positive scenario so it should run it should pass worked right but if I change this, 
sorry if i copy paste here let me comment this and this time i will say i'm looking for this message capture from the web browser and verify does it contain this text obviously this will fail but i want to show you something interesting here so it's not failing immediately it's waiting it's polling and you see here time out after 5000 millisecond it means it waited for 5 second assertion failure error locator was expected to contain text as email as required but it has received email and password as required and you can see it was polling continuously right so it was always getting email and password as required so after 5 second it failed so when i say i recommend this because it comes with auto wait for text as well so this is how you can use now let's say i want to verify partial partial means i just want to check whether this particular element should have a text called required i'm not expecting the complete one i am just expecting required so in that case what you can do you can use pattern so when i say pattern if you just say dot contains text right you can see a pattern class so i will say pattern compile and what i'm expecting is required if this particular element contains text of pattern compile it just looking for a required keyword if yes it will pass otherwise it will fail done but now let's do one final negative condition if i'm expecting the text should be mukesh obviously mukesh is not there it should fail so use pattern if you want to go with the partial match if you're looking for the exact match give the proper match if it will match it will pass otherwise it will fail yeah it was looking for mukesh but it was always getting mukesh sorry email and password is required so i hope you got the clarity i know it's a very small topic but since i wanted to show you many things this video got little lengthy so quick recap uh, quick recap before we end we have seen three different ways to capture first method was text content the second method that we have saw is in a text third approach i used javascript executor to capture the text since it was returning a string i had expected an actual so i use assert dot assert equals assert dot assert true in the second example we used playwright assertions and we used one method called assert that where we are passing that element and we're checking does it contain text if you want to go with exact match go with this if you want to go with pattern a partial one go with pattern dot compile and give the expected one yeah so that's all about this video if this video helped you in any manner then do support this channel share this video with others subscribe to this channel and before you end i want to give you a quick assignment assignment is if i enter let's say some username and if i don't enter the password it should throw me this so i want you to do the same thing log into this application sorry not log in just open this url enter username don't enter the password click on sign in and verify the text should be password is required so quick assignment that will give you some more clarity so yeah, thank you so much if you have any other questions let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care